The result of a sting operation separately conducted at Beda stores in Nairobi's Isli area and Palea stores along the eastern bypass in Ruiru. The seizure netting 1,365 bags of industrial sugar that the government chemist has termed unfit for direct human consumption. When you see the reports that have come from chemical analysis that have been done, some of what we are selling around and mixing as sugar has got high content of mercury, you know, has got high content of copper. According to medics, if consumed, mercury has adverse effects on the human body, including complications on the nervous system, digestive system, weakens the immune system, causes kidney failure, in addition to being highly cancerous. Copper causes nausea, bloody diarrhea, low blood pressure, anemia, and heart complications. They are killing us because they are selling poison to all of us and none of us is safe. We should not pretend. Matiangi revealing that influential businessmen and politicians behind the killer trade have been threatening DCI officers steering the operation. I am not under any illusion that we are engaged in a very serious war. A war that could mean anything. It could mean even the lives of some of these officers. And it could mean even the lives of some of us. But let me tell you quite clearly, we are ready. Authorities accusing the traders of illegally repackaging the imported sugar into local brands without the knowledge of local companies. This causing millions of shillings in losses to the Kenya Revenue Authority. Those who are appending this, you will have to go so that we can have people in whose hands we can entrust the country. The investigators will cast their net wider than just sugar, according to the deputy head of public service. Mention adulteration of fuel. Mention liquid gas, mention the cables that we use for electricity and other things, mention the food we consume. Across the entire spectrum, we have this kind of nonsense. Therefore, this is a war that will be sustained. This is not your usual type of things you have been hearing around. We will investigate, we will come back. This is a different ball game. Take it from me. <laughs> Three suspects arrested during the swoop in Isli were arraigned last week. No amount of intimidation will be put into consideration is a stern message from Matiangi. With the small fish already in court, will we see the big fish behind this dragnet arrested and prosecuted? Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.